Oh, right YouTube, um, it's been a while. So, I literally just had to look then. The last video I did was the show day in Spain. Um, so that's the last video I did. Um, which again, like, um, I don't know if I, I think I recapped it a little bit in that video, but I'm gonna sit and this first YouTube video back is gonna be a little bit of a recap, so I'll put in timestamps and stuff like that, so if you wanna skip this, that's fine, but this is just an insight of what's been going on over the last... Okay, so it got uploaded on December, the show was in, I don't fucking know, November now, so we're well, not too bad, two months, <laughs> two month delay, but, um, what happens post-show, how I've been feeling, what's been going on with my life and things like that and yeah, it was, prep was amazing, prep was amazing, it was something that I really needed to give me direction for my future, uh, simple as, like I've made some big goals and that goal is obviously to now build a pro-worthy physique, um, I'm going to be, I'm in my off-season now. I spent five weeks post-show getting my health markers in a good position, obviously being an assisted athlete, um, making sure that we got rid of all the kind of the anabolics, all the crap out of the system, focused on health for five weeks. My blood results came back really, really good. I was so proud of that. Uh, so my bloods came back really good uh, five weeks post. And then that gave us permission to enter the off season now. So I don't know where we are. There might be, I might throw some images up on the screen of some like check-ins, where we're at currently and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, that's it. So I've been in the off season now for a good kind of, I guess like a good kind of nine, maybe 10 weeks. Very happy with the body composition, all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, overall like, that, that is the mission for me. I'll get back on stage at the end of 2024 with the goal of having a pro-worthy physique. Um, does that mean I'll get a pro card? Probably not, probably not. The first time trying, probably not. It's gonna take a few years, but I want to be have a competitive look um, for a pro card. So yeah, that is the mission. Still working with Cam um, until he, until, until I move on, until, I believe I've outgrown a coach or believe that our relationship has come to a standpoint. I will continue to work with him because I believe in his morals as an individual, as a coach. Um, we agree on things, everything from training, from anabolics, from personal life, everything like that. And he's been very supportive with me over the last couple of months. Um, because the truth is I came off the back of the shows and I didn't really have any post-show blues in a sense. but there was a lot going on in my mind that needed addressing and I've spoke about it on quite a few Instagram posts and I actually put it up on my kind of 2022 recap video that there was a hole in my heart that was missing um, and I just couldn't find out what that was um, I was putting plasters over wounds trying to fill that gap and honestly, the, like, those like those two months, I guess, those two, three months post-show, um, it's only got good probably from like the end of January, in a sense. Um, it was a weird, it was a weird moment because I had clarity on everything from business, from my own personal kind of goals, but there was just something that was missing in my life. And um, I had to, I had to address it, I did, um, and it was petrifying, it was hard, and there had to be a lot of hard questions answered and asked, um, truthfully, but I'm just happy now that I'm in um, a phenomenal place, a phenomenal place. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, that's crazy, absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy where I'm at now. I didn't think, I didn't think, I like, I just didn't think it would work. I didn't think that the, the problem that I needed to be fixed worked and um, it has. And obviously, like, the thing that was missing was, was an individual. It was 
it was Steph, and that was that was the thing. So um, yeah, we um, we got talking, and that was our own personal journey that we went on together. So it's just nice to have our relationship back and to be building from the ground up almost which is amazing um, so that's absolutely phenomenal um, obviously I had to move house in January so yes that was always fun moving house if anyone saw on Instagram <laughs> but yeah moving house was good so I was in the marina for two years and now um, we are in JVC which is here different coffee shop different vibes um, but it's amazing and obviously I'm living with my best mate which is even better so yeah that's honestly it like I thought it would take me longer to kind of recap things and stuff like that because honestly my life is not very interesting train and coach and the mission obviously to build build this empire build an empire um, from a coaching brand from myself everything along those lines so yeah we are <laughs> we are here today I don't know how good this mic is. Hopefully it's good. I think it's pretty good. But yeah, that's where we are. So we have been in our new house now for nearly two weeks. Is it two weeks? One and a half. Yeah, Friday the 3rd, I think February we moved in. So yeah. But yeah, that is, what, that is it. Um, we are just training and just working right now. Um, we've got a good weekend coming up. We've got um, a business event coming up with Charlie, which is gonna be good. Um, both of us are very, they're very excited for the future. We've obviously, I'll be going out to Australia mid-April. Um, Steph's gonna be going out end of March, early April. I'll meet her out there. We'll spend probably about probably about a month there. I'll spend a month out there. She'll probably be there for like six, six, seven weeks, maybe something like that. Um, so yeah, obviously nothing really changes. Like when we go to Oz, Steph will be busy with her kind of clients and um, the coaching side of things there with posing as well. Nothing changes for my team. We're just going to be working and training, guys. Working and training, and that's literally it. Um, but it means a lot, like for me, because obviously like a lot of my family live in Australia as well. So hopefully I'll tie in, I probably won't be able to tie seeing them in this trip because this trip isn't really about them in a selfish way, it's about, uh, about ourselves um, as individuals, as a couple and as brands, as our own personal brands. Um, so it'll be just amazing to see that side, see that side of the world. I haven't done kind of the Gold Coast, Brisbane, that area, um, so it'll be amazing. And that's it, and then we'll come back to Dubai. Um, <laughs> We don't want to be here too much of summer, so we're kind of winging that a little bit. And then we'll be back into Australia the back end of the year as well. Um, Steph will be doing a prep at some form of this year. Um, but again, like this is something that she'll probably assess. Like She's very wise now to be like, is it the right time to prep? Is it the best time to prep? Um, so that'll be something that, that she will be assessing. Um, for me, I just got to keep fat <laughs> and just got to keep growing. But obviously the mission for this is my goal for this year, which I technically failed, um, was to produce a YouTube video every week. They will be here now, so we're just a little bit late, February. So obviously I'm excited to take you on the mission of just to build a pro-worthy physique. Um, and that's literally it, guys. Nothing too fancy. Um, the routine hasn't changed. Like My life hasn't changed. It's just got a lot better. Um, what I've learned about myself, what I've learned about relationships, what I've learned about my own fucking shit <laughs> um, has been phenomenal. Has been over that kind of two, three months post show, um, there was a lot of things that I had to address, like I said before, but I'm gonna stop rambling. I'll try and cut this off at 10 minutes and we'll crack on with the rest of the vlog. Uh, I wanna keep vlogs around kind of 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yeah. Around 20 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes is a nice time period. Um, so yeah, that is it guys. We're just gonna eat some food now. A um, little bit more work and then we are gonna just crack on with, um, with the day. With the day, training and that's it. So enjoy the rest of this one i don't know when it will kind of i think i might just combine a couple of days um of vlogging and things like that just to keep it a little bit more interesting um so this will probably be like a two three day vlog um but yeah this is just the welcome back video
several days later. All right, guys, it's been a hot minute since I spoke on the last clip. It was a few days ago. Now, we are going to the airport to pick up my mum. Like I said the other day, I did the um, little intro a couple of days back. Now we're going to the airport. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why. Last time I um, saw my mum was actually in April last year, coming back from Orlando. Um, so it's almost been a year since I've seen my mum. Um, which is crazy. So she's here for not long, Tuesday today, and she's here till Sunday. Um, so. Obviously, she's going to come do some workouts with me. Um, I am going to be taking a little bit of time out um, just to spend some quality time with her and things like that, which is going to be much needed. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything. Um, just excited to see her. Obviously, she's just going to be staying with me and Steph, which is lovely. Um, so yeah, that's it. And I think, um, yeah, this, this vlog is going to be super random and very bitty, so apologies. So. I feel pretty tired today. Um, Cam's actually been really good whilst my mum's here. We're gonna take cardio out for two days just so I can rest a little bit more and sleep in a little bit and have a little bit less to do with my training uh, whilst my mum's here. I'm just waiting for her now to come through. She's still not there. I got the coffees on deck. We got she got some almond milk lattes, one sweetener. Um, my mum's a bit of a Bit of a fitness freak as well, a bit of a health freak, so... I look pretty tired as well. Alright, there's a gent, she's there. Can see her? <laughs> we have collected the special guest. <laughs> Mama Bear is in for until Sunday. Um, and We'll probably just vlog bits and bops of each day and things like that, but it'll just be a very sporadic, sporadic, yeah, a bit of random vlog. Obviously from the last clip that I filmed the other day and then this one and this week really, so super random. <laughs> cool, there we go guys. Good morning. And look at the do. Anyway, um, good morning. Fast forward about, I don't know, my mum left on Sunday. So now it is Friday. <laughs> so apologies for just the super randomness in the clips. Just because honestly, I'm trying to get back into, uh, just trying to get back into vlogging a little bit more. Um, yeah, so apologies and this week's just been a little bit a little bit up and up and down. Um, just felt the last couple of nights haven't been great night sleeps. But yeah, that's that. Anyway, I'm just trying to try, try and take you through a full day. So normally what I do is I get up at half five, I meal prep, I do my vacuums, I get meals sorted for kind of me and Steph for kind of the first part of the day. Um, just get organized, cardio, abs, which we're about to do now. Um, in the new gym, in the new apartment gym. So obviously cardio I'm doing now five times a week, 25 minutes, vacuums I do every day. And abs I've just started putting into my morning routine as well. So, let's go. Pull, is it a pull? Oh, I think that's too late. Fingerprint shit. It doesn't like me. There we go, we're good. It's cool, no one's in here. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. I uh, can't remember what I was saying. Anyway, we're gonna do cardio for 25 minutes. Even in the off season, yes got the bad boy bike out. Um, it's just, honestly, it's just nice to have it part of my routine. Um, that's literally it. And then I'll do 
two ab exercises and I'll do three rounds of those. Um, just because honestly, I just don't want to do them at the end of my workout now, um, just because the workouts are pretty demanding. So yeah, that's literally it. Yesterday, I just, I'm opening up. Yesterday I had a bit of a, probably really bad anxiety day to be honest. Um, so I feel a little bit knocked from it still, if I'm completely honest. Um, so I'm just taking today hour by hour and things like that. Um, we got a pretty chilled day. We just got training. We got to do some work this morning. And then um, fa fairly chilled afternoon to be honest. And then we're going to an outdoor cinema tonight to watch Creed 3, I think. Anyway, right, I'm going to crack on with this. I'll probably see you afterwards. <laughs> I will adjust the camera, but let's just do it now. <sighs> All right, guys, 25 minutes of cardio is done glossy um, so your yeah, abs honestly yeah five times a week obviously for me abs is technically a weaker area that I do need to bring up um, obviously training them in the morning allows me to number one just be more time efficient with my day but also there's no food in my stomach um, so it allows better contractions and things like that so Personally, it's it's a nice little add-on to the morning routine um, but yeah that's actually it so today I mix them up um, I've kind of found four exercises that I really like. That is a cable crunch, that is a standard body weight crunch, that is a lying leg lift, and that is like a decline lying leg lift. And I just alternate those, so I'll literally just kind of do what I feel on the day. Um, so today I'm just going to do cable crunches and I'm going to do lying leg lifts. Do it as a superset, three sets, anything from kind of 15 to 20 rep range. So yeah, let's dive in. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I love Is it on? Oh, it is. <laughs> is it zoomed out? Or was it Hi! Just... <laughs> She's forgetting everything to do now. Push the button, the whole works. Mm -hmm. Oh. Give us an update. Fucking hell. An update on what? Everything. Life. Oh, no. no. We don't need Let's that. Let's <laughs> <laughs> We got 50 of those. Um, just well, getting, we're just trying to get back into YouTube again, aren't we, really? I took, I took a couple of months off. Nothing's really changed. Off-season life for the next... Over a year and a half? Oh, no, 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 probably about a year. Yeah. Just over a year. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> this is the update. <laughs> all, she wants, all she wants me to say is our anniversary tomorrow. That's literally it. Nothing else matters. Don't worry about training and health. Just our fucking anniversary. So, yes, it's our. Yeah, fourth of. Is it the fourth tomorrow? Yes. It must be, yeah. Oh. Well, I'll just uh, all the days are the same. Yeah, right, but thank you. Morning. 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 Um. So yeah, we're having it. Actually, to be fair, you're just fully in control. I messed up a little bit. I tried to book some things. It was too late. I fucked up. I'll be better next year. Last <laughs> minute. <laughs> yeah. So, but we are going to the cinema tonight. Not that that's very, well it's outdoor cinema, it's different. I've never done it. And then Steph's in control tomorrow. So whatever she wants to do, we can do. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Sushi. Sushi. <laughs> Is that what we do? Yeah. I suppose so, that's what I want to do. <laughs> cool. And then, do you want to watch the Arnold's? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, right. Yeah, that's true. I just, we need to work out the times for it. <laughs> Alright. But otherwise. We're off to the coffee shop, aren't we? 
coffee shop vibes, do a little bit of work. We won't film training or anything like that. I'm actually not going to because I've never, ha I, honestly, over the last probably year, year and a half, I've never had a bad session. But yesterday I had a bad session. Um, just because anxiety was a little bit, there's a little bit of stuff that just hit me in the chin. So just head down and just train. Train time. You. Something never changes. How's life with you? Great. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> same old, same old. Back to old next month. With you. Hey. <laughs> And that's about it. Same thing. We'll keep you posted. She's just the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually something that I've learned from uh, Mark Coles and Charlie. Um, and obviously it takes practice, but overwhelm is when you don't actually have clarity. Um, so it's making sure you have clarity so that you know what you're doing. So obviously, as a coach, my job is to give a client the clarity so they know every day, every week, what they are working towards. So we, I vision their goal achieved, and then from there, I backtrack to where they are now. What do they need to be doing every day, every week, every month? What is that journey looking like so every day they have clarity? And this can happen to this any anything in life. So making sure you have clarity. What do you need to do when you wake up today? Do you have a to-do list? Business meetings, whatever that may be, looking after the kids. That's obviously a bad example, but you get the idea. But just making sure you have clarity, then you won't feel as overwhelmed. Um, honestly, like not much. <laughs> we were literally just talking about this a second ago. Like, what do we want to do? So obviously, like for me, I take kind of take Friday afternoons and Saturdays. Kind of like is that time where I start to unwind, chill out a little bit, like Wednesday afternoons as well. Um, but honestly, not much. Something that's not going to be so demanding. So a lot of time, it's just like it could be just going to the beach, going for a walk. Um, just kind of a little bit of sightseeing, but nothing too crazy. A little bit of food here and there, um, and that's the shit. Um, coffee, coffee shops, stuff like that. Just something that simple and relaxing. Feet up, watch a movie every now and then, <laughs> and that's about it. It's iPhone life. Uh, much needed workout. It was so good after yesterday's anxious workout. Um, honestly, yesterday was like the first bad workout I've had in. Honestly, like a year and a half, so it was much needed today. Now we are in car four because we need we need some fresh almond butter because this stuff is fucking incredible. It's just grounded almonds, it tastes banging. But yeah, that's it. Go home, chill out. And um, it's Friday vibes for us. I've right? got one consultation call, and then we start our little 24 hour chill time, and obviously, it's anniversary time as well, so pressure's on. <laughs> oh, 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 my chins. All right, guys, we just finished the outdoor cinema. It's pretty sick. And we saw Creed 3 out of 10. Eight and a half. It was good. I enjoyed it. I'd give it eight and a half. I preferred the first one, but it was good. And the outdoor cinema was sick. So it's cool. Now we go home because we're tired. And we're going to finish YouTube now. <laughs> <laughs> Bedtime. Peace. <laughs>